Hey, welcome back. This is Frank Latte with the Latte Wellness Group. Today, we're going to be talking about marriages. What makes an enduring marriage? We have a couple here that we're going to introduce here shortly. They've been married for over 15 years. And we're going to you know, take a deeper dive into their ups and downs and just tips and tools for the couples out there to make enduring marriage, relationship, uh, whatever you found you, you know, whatever situation you find yourself in. And so without further ado, let me introduce our uh, couple for today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah. Hi, my name is Del. Edna. All right, and tell us a little bit about you all, your marriage, how long you all been, been together. Well, Yara and I has been together for um, 15 good years. It wasn't easy, but we are here. Um, marriage, marriage itself is not easy. You know, nowadays people think, oh, you know, marriage is just, you know, two people coming together, you know, and loving each other and they, they, get, they get in so quickly. No, it's not like that. Before you, you know, you get into ma marriage, you will really have to think deeply. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, before we go into that, you know, take us down memory lane. Okay. Take us down, let's say, 15 years ago wow. when you all first met. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's say 16 years ago, um, um, we went to a party. My sisters and I went to a party and uh, we met Yao. So through conversation, we found out that we're from the same place like when I say the same place it's like we're from Ghana but mm -hmm. the same place called Konongo Masi. Mm -hmm. so we started talking at first he became you know he was my brother I can say I took him as a brother and you know we went we talk a lot um, as brother brother and sister before the love thing mm -hmm. gets there I mean, she in her mind it was brotherly thing, but in my mind, anytime she said, you know, oh, I want you to be my brother, you know, I got a little bit pissed off in me, but I, I, you know, I will show her, you know, what do you mean, brother? You know, you know, you can't be my sister. You know, I just want you. You know, I don't, I don't want you to be like my sister. No, I don't need a sister. I need a wife, a woman, somebody who can take care of, you know, <laughs> can take care of the family, not sister, you know, so. And it, it wasn't it wasn't easy. It was tough. Yes, uh, it was tough. You know, it was in the end. There, 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 uh, a lot of stuff, you know, that we went through, you know, by, by God's grace, you know. We are here. We are here now, so mm -hmm. all the glory belongs to him. That's why we can say all the glory belongs to me. Mm. So, so what I'm hearing is mm -hmm. that you all met at a party, and initially, and sometimes how how it is, you know, maybe one person doesn't really look at it a certain way, but the other yeah. person may be pursuing, and uh, and and initially, and that started. Um, just thinking as okay, friendship, okay, you all are yeah. from the same country, the same place within that town, you share a common thing, and you also mentioned God, so you all had a, a foundation, you know, you're from, from the same town, and uh, your love of God, and, but, but slowly but surely, I guess through patience, Yao was here, and he was just, you know, waiting patiently. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's what I can say, yes, you know. Wait, patient, and see what one thing. You see, it's, it's, all this, you know, you have to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. That's why people don't get it, you know. Sacrifice. There are some lot of stuff like when you're dating or when you're married, you know. It's time from dating, you know. You you married. It's a lot of sacrifice, like she said. It's not like oh, I marry her, just her alone. No, if you do that, it, it won't go nowhere. Mm -hmm. When you marry, it means you marry her all, everybody in the family. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you can help it, where, where there's help, you help. That's what nowadays a lot of people don't, you know, they don't do that. I marry you, you just you, me, and you. That's it. Mm -hmm. And right mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. no, it's not like that. So everybody came from a family. Okay. 
you know so you cannot just come and say oh i took you out and then go just me and you no it's, it's not like that you, know, you gotta love all the family you know and care for as care as you can if you do that it will make you know it'll go a long way go a long, long way go a long way, long mm -hmm. way. okay all right so when, 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 so family is also another theme that I'm hearing that family is very, very important. And for you, uh, you said you married a whole family. And um, do you find, is, was that challenging in the beginning? Uh, did you? Uh, see, me, I'm a kind of guy, you know, if I see what I want, mm -hmm. I don't see the challenge. I just go for it. Mm -hmm. See, man, that's it. When we were doing that, a lot of people, because where they used to live in Ali was far. How far, roughly? Ooh, yeah, we used to live in um, the west side. We west side, in, you know, so it was far, you know, like, like 20, 30 minutes, an hour, 45 oh, minutes. Oh, this, this. oh, wow. Yeah, wow, wow. Before, and traffic, so mm -hmm. you, know, you add to it like an hour and something. Like, I go there all the time. People be like, man, shit, you, 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 come on, you're wasting your time, you know. I said, no, I'm not wasting my time. Mm -hmm. if, if you see what you want, you go for it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're spending gas and all that. I said, no, I mean, I'm not worried about gas and all that. Because mm -hmm. what I saw, is what I want. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw something in her that I haven't seen, you know, haven't seen any woman. And what was that? <laughs> her smile. Okay. Caring, you know. That's, that's so so every day like every day day in and day out we see something different you know something different mm -hmm. and I was like, mm. and it's like a, a school you know because every day hey, you learning something different, learning yeah. something different mm -hmm. you know because it's, it's like a school we all going to school we learn from each other mm -hmm. you know that's 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 how my age is and as a man you have to compromise a lot Compromise. What were some of those compromises? <laughs> a lot. There's a stuff that she won't. You might not want. You know. But since she won't, okay, go ahead. If you'll be happy, then I'm happy too. You see, but I see, I see a lot of a lot of people. You know, they don't want to do that. Oh, if you want this, I want this one too. If you want that one, if you do that, you go broke. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So let's say we all spend. You want this shoe? Well, I want this shoe. You go buy. You know, I'll I'll hold on to mine. Mm. You know, I will hold on to mine. If she get it, the glory comes to me. Mm -hmm. You know, but a lot of people don't get. It. You know, so. <laughs> and and what, what were some of the sacrifices that you also had to do? Well, a lot. Like he said, you know, we from different you know background two people not from even if we were to, we were to be from the same mother we still have different ideas mm -hmm. I'm coming from a different background he's coming from a different even mm -hmm. though we from the same place doesn't mean we were raised mm -hmm. the same mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's a different I, didn't, I never had a brother mm -hmm. my mom has six girls no okay. brother so yeah I never lived with a man you know, like a you know, like a young guy as a brother before. Mm -hmm. Now I'm dating, and uh, uh, there are so many things he does mm -hmm. that I, uh, uh, well, I have to compromise because <laughs> I don't. Not everything that he does, I, I like mm -hmm. at that time. Any examples? Well, Yahoo, Yahoo is somebody. Who has time for, you know, like um, anything and everything? Say the same one more time. Like he has time for, mm -hmm. like I don't know how to put it, but you know, like anything or everything. Like somebody can call y'all. Hey, can you help me do this? He is very tired, but he will be there. Mm -hmm to help the person and I felt like the reason why I didn't like those kind of things is because why 
I feel like they were, um, you know, me? yeah, mm-hmm. you know, they were taking an advantage mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. So that that one, I didn't like it, mm-hmm. but I felt like he was doing what he likes. Mm-hmm. Like you know, maybe God put him in that position to, you know, help addicts like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I have to compromise about that. Mm-hmm. That's it. Even though I don't want him to go or to do what he want to do. Okay, let 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 him go and you know, I'll just let him go and do it. Okay. Okay. And sometimes he will come with me too. Yeah, sometimes I have to <laughs> drive with him or drive him because yeah. at that time when we when I met Yao, uh, I mean it's not like I'm putting anything out there but you know, document wise was not really um in the right place like you know it's not you know uh document like you know green car driving lances he, he didn't have none at that time so if he's you know if he's going somewhere and i feel like i'm not comfortable for him to drive then i have to drive him mm. yeah, then i have to drive him um and you know a lot of people didn't understand why. Because, you know, when you are growing up as a young lady, you have your dream, you know, you have, a, you, everybody have a dream. Mm. Like, okay, this is the man, you know, I want to get a man who is like this, who is like that. Mm-hmm. To me, I think my dream, my dream man was, I think, limited, like, I, I didn't dream of too much. Mm-hmm. All what I, I wanted was a man with a good heart, mm-hmm. caring, loving, understanding, and that's and that's it. That was that was that that time. That was what you know. So when I met Yao, and you know, I, I saw those things in him. Mm-hmm. I said that's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. You raise a very good point. So essentially, and this is for those that don't know, I've been doing marriage counseling for for, for a long time, mm-hmm. a couple of years now, and, and you see this situation, this scenario happens a lot, right? So oftentimes, when you first start dating, um, there's some characteristics that you like about a person, mm-hmm. and oh, this is very nice. So yeah, it seems like he's a very caring person. He helps personnel. He helps people out, and he helps all these things out. But then when you get married, the things that, that was very cute and you <laughs> liked about the person now becomes a little bit of annoyance. Yes. Right? And you, you see this all the time with relationships and one person really likes to do this and then, well, do you have to do this all the time or something like that? And, and so um, what I was hearing was there's a lot of compromising. Mm-hmm. You, you know, there's a lot of compromising that goes on throughout the throughout throughout the 15 year relationship and especially with different personalities and and and, 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 and a lot of other things. So okay, all right. So and one thing I mm-hmm. did compromise to was um yeah, I was not a believer. When I said he wasn't a believer, he was like a, a, a Catholic. Okay. Like he doesn't believe Jesus Christ mm-hmm. is a son, you know. He, he, he is the savior. He came and died for us. But the reason why I compromised that was when I went, when he took me to his house for the first time to just to see where he lived, I saw a Bible. Okay. Laying down on top of his TV mm-hmm. with, you know, a lot of dust around it mm-hmm. <laughs> on top of the Bible. So. Mm-hmm. I saw it and I, that was the first thing I, you know, and I look at him and I ask him, whose Bible is that? Because at that time he was living with a roommate. Okay. Yeah, so I asked him, whose Bible? Is that your Bible? He said, yes. Then I was like, okay. I can come. And then I can come. But at least he has a Bible. Okay. So it means maybe if I put him through the Bible, mm-hmm. he, will, he, he will understand some stuff and become a Christian. Okay. And that was, and it, 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 that, that, was, that was the truth. Oh, okay. It, it did happen that way. Mm-hmm. So, so, but it wasn't easy. So it wasn't easy. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, all right. So, so you had patience, 
and you saw some hope there. And so mm-hmm. there were there were some things that was not going like how you envisioned it in, yeah. in, in the beginning, especially with the religious belief. Mm-hmm. And so, but there were some there were some glimpses of hope. Oh yeah. And so you were able to have the patience in it, and you didn't just you know uh, throw in a towel right away. But uh, you all were able to work through those things. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So so now take us through about what would you say in a uh, the first five years after after being married for five years, mm-hmm. so you all dated, and I guess eventually you all got married. What were some of the lessons learned, or or the growth that you all experienced in that in that first five years? The first five years, <laughs> it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Yeah. It was not. That was the time you you, you know I felt like should I give up? Mm. Oh, should I continue? Is it gonna get better? Maybe I made a mistake. Mm. You see, then you know you start. It, I mean, somebody can say, somebody, someone will be like, okay, it was too early to, you know, to me it wasn't too early because it's five years of our marriage. Um, things are not going on well. Can you give um, um, general themes of, right. you know, for the viewers out there, general yeah. themes of what weren't going? Because, because I'm sure people are in the same situation mm-hmm. that you that you find yourself. Yeah. The, the, the first that time we living together. Mm-hmm. So now that you are about to see it's the funny. pros and the cons mm-hmm. about. I have mine. He has his. When we were dating, maybe there's a lot of stuff that we, we hide. We hide. <laughs> yeah, we mm-hmm. hide. So now, oh, you know that. Oh, so this is how he is. Okay. Uh, all right. And you'll be like, oh, okay. Because then I, I came to realize he always has a bad temper. Mm. Yeah. Then I, I felt like, okay, I didn't sign up for bad temper. Like when I say bad temper, it's not like he's abusive, but when he like um, it's you know little thing can make him snap, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and and when he's he's upset, then he back off from everything. Mm-hmm. Like you know, stay away from everything. Like maybe probably he's doing something and the thing is not going on. Well, he just get upset. Mm. And so you know, short, short temper. Mm-hmm. So would you say you were more patient? Yeah, I was. Yeah, and I, I'm not. I, I get mad too, but I'm not like that. I take my time. Mm-hmm. When I'm doing things and it's not going on, well, maybe I make, I make, you know, I make mistake and drop something, and you know, maybe some. I just don't get mad at it. Mm-hmm. Why did this happen? Mm-hmm. No. Things happen, mm-hmm. so um, even though it might it might hurt me that I messed up or I won't get mad mm. about it. Okay. So you know things about him were new to me, and uh, then I felt like okay, this is the time I have to like I have to be a teacher. Okay. The things that maybe he probably doing that he doesn't know that this wrong. I have to draw his attention to it. Hey, you don't have to get mad about this. Mm-hmm. It's okay. You know, you don't need to get upset. You know, take your time, calm down. You you know, then that thing came in. But like I said, I will continue saying it wasn't easy because you just cannot talk to somebody and you expect the person to just get, you know, get understanding to what you are telling them right there right there mm. sometimes he doesn't you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it takes time and how you know how are are you going to you know like um, cope with it till he gets it mm. Mm. that's the okay. the hard part alright so in the first five years it was dealing with y'all's temper how about you y'all what were some of the things that you you saw that wait wait I didn't see this when we were dating. Yeah yeah see what that's me. One thing about me you know I see things. Hmm. I see that. Hmm. And I work around. Work around me. So I'm gonna ignore. It. I work around and, and wait and wait 
and then why is everything you know maybe you're sitting somewhere laughing and then i'll bring it out again you know that the other day you did this this this, <laughs> this you know that that was not that was not nice that's me mm-hmm. you know i'll take my time hmm. oh, okay oh, oh, okay right. i'll wait but sometimes when she pissed off or she's mad and you say something now nah, that's why it's gonna bring it brings so many stuff she's she's mad I stay i say one two one or two things mm-hmm. and i back off mm-hmm. you know let her vent out mm-hmm. you know so after she vent out give her time then i'll go you know i'll go and say in a funny way that's me mm-hmm. say in a funny way so the way i'll say mm-hmm. she can't get mad she mm-hmm. would just she would just smile or just laugh mm-hmm. you know then that's it then we work it out right there that that's me yeah. i'll crack a joke you know and stuff that you know, i'll crack you know wait you know crack a joke about it and then you solve the problem it's like she said there's nothing easy not at all but it's all about working together you know working together if this one don't do Maybe this patience. this one do this if this one don't do this see she have patience so many stuff mm-hmm. i don't have some patience some part mm-hmm. she don't so mm-hmm. work together right it's like she say i might be she say i got pissed off so quick i might be holding something and it drop and i'll scream mm-hmm. i'll get mad mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and she <laughs> she she won't she, she won't say anything she was like man i was in my head ah. see if she don't care But I won't tell her, right? Mm-hmm. I'll say in my head. But I'll say, okay, I'll keep cool. It's like I said. Then later on, then I'll say, I'll say in a joke way. And we all laugh about it. That's all. So it's all about working together. And it's like, and you read, we used to read Bible. Mm-hmm. You know, we used to, you know, quotations, recite it so we can quote all the quotations and remember you know in the morning we have the ones we the ones we say in the evening we have the ones we say you know those things perhaps is that the thing that can you know get you do all this thing you know the bible the word of god that's the only thing that can push you to apart from that there's nothing you know nothing out there that can help you you know nothing yeah somebody might help you but At the long run, you know, you need Jesus. Mm-hmm. You know, Jesus to step in and, and take control of everything. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. So, so essentially, you all were in the first five years. They were a little bit rough, but uh, through patience, through studying the Word of God, um, you said through Jesus and just through through your through you all's faith. You you're able to overcome some of those challenges, yes, sir. and 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 also uh, you mentioned two things here that that we also talk about in communication. You know, the first one is we call it having a soft startup. Mm-hmm. So essentially, if someone is if, if your partner is upset, the or if you want to talk to your partner and, and it's really and they're very very upset, the way that you approach the situation, you have to very you know approach it very very delicately or know when to say hey. Maybe this is a time. Mm-hmm. I would say, no, well, maybe I'm gonna let I'm gonna let things cool off a little bit, yes. right? And then what you also what you also said was you also use what we call a repair technique. Mm-hmm. A repair technique, essentially, what you're saying is you for you when you when you are gonna approach various hard topics, you you say it in a joke. You you, you um you lighten the mood a little bit. Yeah. Um, and so that that also helped because now both partners or both parties are not being becoming defensive mm-hmm. very very combative because mm-hmm. you know in, in, in marriages in relationships the longer you've been with someone unfortunately sometimes the shorter your patience can be mm-hmm. right right so so a lot of times people say that uh, especially people that you know when 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 if you look at unhealthy relationships uh, uh, you'll notice that um, let's say the man or woman, You know, they, they're the nicest person to strangers, you know. Oh, hey, hi, oh, you dropped this. Let me pick this up for you. <laughs> But let their wife or let their husband drop this. Look at you. You know, mm-hmm. why are you always dropping things <laughs> and, and all this? And, yeah. and you can't do anything right, you know. Right, and right. so um, they, they're saying, in essence, through through patience and having just being having manners, mm-hmm. 
right? Treating your spouse how how it was when you all first started dating. Mm -hmm. You know, you let things slide. You okay? Oh, don't worry, honey. Okay. Mm -hmm.